you, you haven't asked me about how I joined Mr. Town's company yet. But, uh, the story is that in, I think in 2007, in November, he called me on the phone. He said, uh, we need you to come to work in our office uh, as soon as possible as a translator. Um, I'll pay you $5,000 a month um, to work in full time in my office as a translator. It's just on the phone. So I thought that was attractive, so I accepted. It was a Thursday or something that he called me, so I said I'll come in on Monday morning. Then. So I went in there on Monday. They were, I just saw, I think, one receptionist, Iris at the front desk. Um, a Mr. Uh, a Dr. Go. G O U. Yeah. That's Dr. the person Go. I just asked you about. Is that? That's yes. just not G O U. Go Shaoren. That's his name. Oh, okay. Go Shaoren. Yeah. That's yeah. I know okay. him. Yeah. He's a doctor. Yeah. He's, he has a PhD degree in communications. I think or in media relationship. Oh. I think. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, so. Sorry. Yeah, so I met, um, sorry, we, I pronounce his name as Go, but you just not pr pronounce yes, it as Gu, sure. so I thought he's <laughs> a different person. So uh, yeah, Dr. Go is uh, one of his formal employees, and he does, uh, I mean, whenever he has new visitors or new guests, or new clients coming into the office, apart from being received by the receptionist, Eilis, uh, Dr. Go, usually comes out to greet them, you know, to take them to the meeting room or give whatever information. I think he's, he functions, uh, he, that's his job, you know. Okay. Um, so he's the per first person to meet the client, or something, you know, um, Dr. Go. Yeah. So when I went to uh, his office, I think it was uh, in the first few days of that week, Mr. Tang wasn't in the office. Okay. So I was curious about, you know, because I didn't have any written offer, and um, so, like everything, just Mr. Town just said to me verbally. So I was, um, I just, I was just curious. I wanted to know more about it. Um, so I asked him, Dr. Go. I said, "Am I uh, just here by contract or long term? You know, in house? You know, I don't know. You know." Mm -hmm. So Dr. Go said, I'll ask Mr. Tang, you know, when I get a chance. Because uh, nobody, you know, approached me any, anymore. They just gave, tell me, you know, you do this, please translate this into Chinese, that into English. So uh, I think it's in the second or third week, Mr. Dr. Go came back and said, he said he had asked Mr. Tang about my role there. He said, uh, Mr. Town said, you can choose either to work as a contractor or as an in-house translator. But the difference is that if you work as a contractor, you take all the $5,000 salary. If you work as a full-time employee here, uh, we will have to you know, take from the 5000 to pay whatever, like CPP, EI, mm -hmm. so you don't get that much. Okay. in salary, so you get to choose. I said, okay, well, in that case, I just chose to work as a contractor. So, so what did he pay you? He paid me $5,000 a month. 